Welcome back here to Finnegan's Farm and as you can see in the background here we have our potatoes. These were the first potatoes planted um, when we started our planting season and they were planted in the first week of April. So we're over here, Laytown Beach is right there so we're in the sandy conditions just like in Wexford. So you used to travel to Wexford for the land but um, we decided that we'd just stay closer to home. So we're over here in Laytown. So this side here with the flowering crop you can see our queens and then our main crop is our rooster so queens are on the headland we'll be digging them first and then we'll be moving into our rooster crop there's two fields here there's one here and there's one just across the edge there so if you have a closer look here these will be dug the end of july start of august depending on how they get on um they haven't been irrigated at all but they're a nice color, nice size, nice skin. The skin hasn't set in them yet, um, because they're still growing. So that's just the queens there. And then if you move across here, you can see the rooster crop. The use rooster generally yield a lot more than the queens. You get maybe 16 or 17 potatoes off the first one you planted. The mother potato that is planted at the start which will be connected to the roots of the plant itself actually dies and it produces then all the other potatoes to grow you can see the potatoes are actually very deep in the soil they grow down into the into the soil to get the nutrients so there's a few potatoes there that's off the next plant like the roots are going nice and deep you have to really go looking for them. Um, there is actually, that there is the original potato, so that'll die off. It is the original food source for the plant, but as the plant grows then, it'll die off. And you're left with the, the next generation plants. So we have Stephen Sweetman, who is our main spraying man, he does, the majority of the spraying darren hubble does help him out then when we get busy because as we all know you don't have to be a farmer to know the blight is a major killer in potatoes so we um we need to prevent blight attacking our plants and our crop so we need to spray every maybe 10 days now it's not a heavy spray it's only just to it's a preventative rather than a cure so He's just coming over. We'll be only we'll be doing our last spray in now. We won't have to spray for blight after this. this blight all depends on the weather. Windy conditions will let blight just travel up a bit quicker. So Stephen should be here soon, and I'll show you then our sprayer, which will be the land quip on the 175 case track. So we're now in with Stephen here, who's the main sprayer operator on the farm. Darren Hubble does a bit too, but uh, Stephen's the main man for the job. Here in the 175 case with the land quick sprayer, um, full GPS, section control, there's end sensors on it as well. Those who don't know what end sensors are, they kind of look at the crop and see the chlorophyll levels and see how well it's grown. Trembling there, it's just a bit bumpy. Um, and they, they'll report back to you where the weak spots are in the field, and then it's up to the farmer then to go and check the weak spots. and report back to see what sprays or fertilizer that particular area of the field needs rather than spraying the whole field you can just focus on the section that needs it so we're spraying for blight here at the minute it's every 10 days Stephen. every 10 days yeah so we nearly have this field finished out 28 meter boom isn't it? 28 meter boom yeah it's just one short tram line left in the corner now yeah drone there as well we were recording the field so um yeah the main part of the field is the rooster and then the queens are on the headlands so these are the first field planted so they'll be the first ones dug they'll be the new crop or the new season as you see in the bags so we're just folding up the sprayer going into the next field joystick there for all the functions
we're setting up here in the new field, so to label the field so that we remember every thing we spray. So just putting in the date and what we're spraying for. So that's a new job set up in the field. Put the GPS on. barely see the spray coming out it's that light like there's not much it's not a heavy spray so are you marking the boundary to go around or is it already marked from the last time the boundary the field is there yeah so then when I come around that's with my head when I then the sections will switch off and whenever when you come to, come to the green then it's it covered yeah So just to show you here the sec section control, as you can see the headland is not parallel to our main runs in the field, so can we get that big screen up actually Stephen? So the green bits on the screen, see it, uh, the bits that are done so the sprayer actually will not turn on unless it comes into the section where it hasn't been sprayed. So then you can see this side of the sprayer is turned on and this side isn't. But as it comes across, there's another section on and there's the last section on. So you're saving a lot of time, you're saving money on spray number one, you're saving harmful oh like yeah, double spray. Not double spray and anything, it's just just getting single dose each time and that's it, you're not yeah. getting over spraying or overlapping. Yeah, so it's good for our pocket, but it also is good for the environment, which is most important. So we're about halfway through this field here now, and finish it off now. Now, tram lines are probably the most hated thing for a spraying man. Spr folding up the sprayer, but this works out perfect here, that when you come to spray it, it is exactly in line with the Hold. So watch your hair now. What do you call them yokes in the end, Stephen? Brake backs. Yeah, brake backs. So when it comes up to the pole, they just tip it. Don't do any harm. And on again. Just make sure the whole crop is covered because you can't get if bike gets into one section of the field, it'll spread to the whole lot. There's also a camera here showing the rear of the sprayer. Handy in the field. It's also handy on the road. See who's behind you. There's section control here now. So this side's overlapping so that's turned off. And then these sections will slowly turn off. The last one first. Yeah, gone, gone done and off. So shout out to Gavin Weldon who supplies the top gun screen. He uh, used to work on the farm. Uh, the lines are a bit bumpy here. He used to do all the spraying on the farm and then he actually went out on his own fixing sprayers and supplying sprayers to farmers. He works with uh, land equip. So he'll, uh, he'll give out to us now if you don't mention him. So we said we better mention him. Um, he supplied the top con as well. Yeah, he supplied the top con, fitted it. So, it's not a bad lad now. Not a bad lad. Get on to him now if you have any spraying problems, he'll, he'll look after you. 